So hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to solve the problem number 193 from the mechanics part of Irodov. So in this question we have a small body of mass M that is tied to a non-stretchable thread and it moves over a horizontal plane and it's smooth. The other end of the thread is being drawn into a hole with a constant velocity. Find the thread tension as a function of the distance r between the body and the hole if at r equals r0 the angular velocity is given to be omega naught. So if I try to draw the top view of the situation, this would be the whole O. And let's say at any general moment, the mass M is at a radial distance of R and makes an angle of theta with this horizontal line. And let's say it has some velocity V that is perpendicular to the radial line and it will also have some velocity along the radial line. Let's say it is U. So as uh, it's given the problem that it's being pulled at a constant velocity, we can say that u is a constant. Now as r and theta are varying in this problem, it's better to solve this problem using polar coordinates. And I'm going to be borrowing a result uh, from a previous video in, in which I derived the acceleration in polar coordinates. And it was this particular result. So if you want to write the acceleration of a particle in polar coordinates, it will take this particular form. Now let's try to uh, observe mass m. So okay, so first of all, this is the positive r cap direction and this would be the positive theta cap direction. So as there is no friction forces, we can say that there is no forces acting on this mass m in the theta direction, which means clearly acceleration in the theta cap direction would be zero. So we can say two r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot equals zero. So now I want you guys to observe something. Uh, this expression over here is pretty much the time derivative of r square theta dot. And let's try to differentiate this basically. So this would be 2r, r dot theta dot plus r square theta double dot. So if you take the r outside, you'll get 2r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot. And as you can see, this is pretty much the a theta cap expression. So essentially we can replace this with this particular expression. So if the derivative of a particular quantity is zero, then we can say that that particular quantity is a constant. So r square theta dot equals constant. This, pr this equation over here, pretty much just tells us that the angular momentum of mass m about this point O is constant, right? Because the angular momentum uh, of this mass m about the point O is m r square times omega or you can say theta dot. And we can also observe it from the fact that there is no torque acting on the mass m about the point O. And this is the first fact that we are going to be using and that is the fact that angular momentum of the mass m about the point O is conserved. Okay, so and it's so a boundary condition is given to us that when the radius was r0, the angular velocity was omega0. So we can say r0, omega0 square equals, let's say at any general time t, the radius was r, so it will be r omega square. Okay, so now we have to talk about the tension. So if I try to draw the FBD of the mass m, it will have tension t acting in the radially inward direction and borrowing the radial acceleration result, it's going to be r double dot minus r theta dot square, right? Now r dot is going to be minus u because this is what we took the value as, right? So from here, we can say r double dot is zero, which means this particular term over here goes to zero. So the radial acceleration is simply minus r theta dot square. And the only force that will be providing this acceleration is the tension force in this particular case. So we can say tension t equals the mass times the acceleration, which is r theta dot square, okay? So, and this is simply m r omega square. And omega we can borrow up from here. So we can say this would be this particular value. So this is how the tension in the string is varying as a function of r. So I hope you guys learned something from this problem. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Do share it in the telegram groups and stuff. And thanks for watching guys.